I'm going to talk about uh, finding water in the jungle. And the good news is that there's you know, usually plenty of water around, that it's not that difficult to find. The bad news, in a sense, is that you need a lot of it because it's so hot and uh, you know, you're sweating, so you need to keep rehydrated uh, all the time. So I kind of wanted to talk about this, you know, not in a sort of general sense about water purification and filtration, but more uh, some sort of tips and tricks that you can use in the jungle. And you have a, a huge friend in bamboo when it comes to water. You know, you can use it for all sorts of things. I mean, here I'm just you know, channeling some water, uh, you know, along some bamboo. I could, I could run it all the way to camp if I needed to. And, uh, you know, you can use it. You can find water in bamboo. You can make water bottles from it. You can build a fire to boil the water from bamboo. So bamboo is a really fantastic resource when it comes to uh, water. And um, what I thought we'd do is we'd just start by looking at, you know, if, if you're in an emergency situation and, you know, you found some water and you haven't got a water bottle, I just thought I'd show you how to uh, knock up one of these, which is a bamboo water container. And uh, it's so easy to make and it's very, very quick. Um, it holds quite a lot of water, it's light. Just put a stopper in the top here. Um, you know, and it's great. You can swing this over your back like that and you know, you, you can carry it around. So uh, earlier I made this and I'll, I'll put some video in just showing how to do it. But it's really, you know, it, it couldn't be much simpler. And you've got a totally waterproof uh, water container there. So good to know. The other thing which I talked about in an earlier video with bamboo, I'll just quickly mention, uh, you know, is quite often, you know, there's water in the bamboo, you know, itself. So you could cut out the segment. I've cut out a segment here. You probably can't hear it, but there's water sloshing around in there. And I can carry that with me. And then, you know, when I need the water, I can just, um, I'll, I'll knock it back to the other end, cut a little hole here. Like so, and then you should have absolutely clean water coming out of there, and quite a lot of it too. So you know that's good to know. Bamboo is just is just great, and you know apologies if I keep uh, singing its praises for those of you who don't have bamboo growing near you. But it, you know, really in the jungle, it's a resource that's difficult to ignore. Perhaps the most important thing in the jungle is to avoid getting dehydrated. And you know, what that means is in, a, in an emergency situation, you know, if you didn't have uh, a way of chemically purifying or boiling water, you know, really it's, it's probably better, probably, to drink the water, even though it's not purified or filtered, than get dehydrated. But, you know, obviously you're taking a big risk. But to give you an example, I was on a survival course for three days. I was just drinking water from streams like this uh, with no ill effects at all. But that's not to say I wasn't taking a risk. I was, you know. So the general rule is this. If you can purify uh, water, you should do it. Absolutely, you should do it. Because you can't tell by looking at the water whether it's clean or not. But in an emergency situation, particularly in the tropics, it's so hot. If you, for, what, for some reason, you can't, you can't purify the water. Don't not drink the water. Because, you know, in a way, you're better off getting ill later on from you know, parasites or microorganisms in the water than dying of dehydration, which can happen really quite quickly. So in terms of uh, cleaning or purifying water, so essentially there are two stages and people sometimes sort of get a bit mixed up about them. One is filtering water, which is to remove like larger particles that are, that are in the water, like leaves or bits of rot or you know, dirt, solid dirt. Um, and then you have a sort of second stage, which is purifying the water, which is you know, can be done with certain filters will do it, you can boil it, or you can chemically treat it. So there are two stages to it. So filtering, which again we can um, do using bamboo, 
Uh, you, know, you can use like some charcoal with some bamboo shavings and uh, sand, put those into a tube of bamboo, run the water through it, and you know, that will get rid of a lot of the grotty particles that are in the water. And then after that, you would boil it or you would chemically treat it. Now, the reason we want to get rid of those larger particles isn't just because it makes the water look better. In fact, you know, generally speaking, if the water is very turbid and muddy, even when you pass it through the filter, it's not going to look absolutely clean. That's not the reason. The reason is that some of these microorganisms and uh, bacteria that you want to get rid of, you know, they can almost be inside the particle um, in the water. So that when it's chemically treated or boiled, it, the, only the outside of that particle is, is purified and the microorganism that's inside there is, you know, isn't killed. So then you can still get ill. So that's why it's, it's important to get rid of those larger particles uh, you know, in the water first. After that, you want to do the second stage, which is either, uh, you know, generally speaking, either chemically um, treating the water or boiling it. And in my experience, it works like this. When I'm on the move, uh, you know, I don't necessarily have time to boil the water, so I will chemically treat it. If I'm at camp and I have more time to set things up, then I'm going to boil the water because, you know, I don't have that nasty taste. And actually, it, you know, it's, um, in a lot of ways, it's safer than using a chemical treatment. You know, of course, there are plenty other ways of um, cleaning water on the market. There are new ones coming out all the time. This is an old favorite. This is a catadine pocket filter, which is a you know, great piece of kit. Uh, I've had this for years and years and years, but I don't use it in the jungle. I, I used this when I was um, on an expedition driving across Africa because I had a car, so I could just put it in the car. But this weighs about half a kilo, maybe 600 grams even. So it's heavy, and I don't want to carry something uh, you know, as heavy as that with me when I can use um, you know, chemical purification and filtration instead. But they're good. But, you know, it's like that was, I think they're now about 250 pounds, you know. So they're, they're expensive. But, you know, maybe a good thing to have if you've got a base camp. Um, you know, you can leave it at the base camp and the satellite camps, you know, you can use other methods of uh, purification. Now, a lot of people don't like chemically treating water because you know, it ends up tasting like a public swimming pool. And, there's a, you know, there is a lot of truth in that. Um, there are a few things you can do, though, which um, will get rid of the taste. And in fact, some of them you can even find in the rainforest. And the two that I, I tend to use, these are berries from the uh, Sidundu uh, plant, which I showed you before. You can use the leaves to help stop bleeding from leeches. And they're really delicious. They taste like, um, a bit like Ribena, but they're full of you know, vitamin C. And if you chew these and then, or even squeeze the juice into uh, uh, chemically treated water, it helps to get rid of the taste. In fact, vitamin C will almost you know, totally get rid of the taste if you bring along some vitamin C tablets. Um, but remember, when you, you only want to add the vitamin C after the chemical treatment has, has, has had an, enough time to work. So, you know, give it half an hour, because um, once you add the vitamin C, you're, you're stopping the sterilization process to some, to some degree. So add it after you know, the given time limit. But the other thing I wanted to show you, which is, I mean, I find it's fascinating, is this, which is a sort of um, the fruit from the lemba plant. And it has almost magical properties, believe it or not. If you chew this, and I'm not gonna do it because I don't want, to, I don't want it to work at the moment. But if you chew this, for about half an hour afterwards, everything that you taste, you taste or eat, tastes sweet. It's, it's bizarre. And it's, um, it's like an artificial sweetener. And it really works. And if you chew some of this, and just chew it after it, you just chew it around, it's a bit, it's quite strong. Keep it in your mouth a bit, a bit longer than I'm doing. And then spit it out, and I can taste it already. It's, it's like an enzyme. Excuse me, an enzyme in it which makes everything taste sweet, including water. So you drink plain water afterwards and it tastes like it's got a spoonful of sugar in it. It's really bizarre. But it's a good thing to know because if you don't like the taste of you know, chlorinated water, you know, you can chew one of these, very strong actually, chew one of these and then uh, you, know, you won't taste the, the chlorine in the water. Because chemical, chemical treatment is, is actually a very um, convenient way of cleaning water. Boiling water obviously takes more time. Now there are two, you know, main ways that people use. Um, you know, people will use iodine, you know, drops of iodine, 
about five drops for 2% solution in a litre of water. Um, and the other thing that people will use, and I've brought some, is uh, the things like these, these Puri, Puri Safe, Puri Tabs. These, ten, these tend to be, or these ones anyway, are chlorine-based um, um, uh, chemical. Iodine is generally better, uh, but I prefer, personally, I prefer these because, you know, they're very small. Uh, it's easy to get the dose right, you know, because it's um, basically one pill per litre. And so you can carry them around um, you know, very easily. And what I do is I've got uh, like a film canister here. And in this, I, you know, the bottom third is salt. And salt also will remove some of the taste of um, chemical treatment as well. It's just a little pinch of salt. Uh, but salt's very useful in the jungle because you're, you're sweating so much. Uh, I carry a couple of um, vitamin C tablets, 1,000 milligrams. Now, you only need to put in about 50, 100 milligrams uh, of vitamin C into a litre of treated water to get rid of the taste. So with two, I've got 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C in here, which is going to you know, last me a long time. And then on top, I've just got the um, water for purif purification tablets wrapped in a bit of cling film. So, you know, that is my uh, water purification system for when I'm on the move and I can't boil water. Once you stop in the evening to make camp, life becomes much easier because you can boil water. And um, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. If you've got um, you know, something to boil it in, like a can like this, you can make a, a pot hanger system like super easily with bamboo. And I'll just show you that quickly now. So, I mean, honestly, it just takes seconds to make. Um, what you do is just make a, like a notch here. That's where the pot's going to hang. And then up at the top, just make a hole which the, the pointed end of the bamboo here will, will just link into like that. And then just a, a supporting strut here. So the whole thing you know, can just be taken apart, put together you know, incredibly easily. If you don't have a container, we can just use a piece of bamboo to boil water in. Uh, you know, it's actually a great thing to, to use. Um, the thing is, you want to use green bamboo, obviously, because you don't want this thing to um, catch light. And the trick is to keep turning it. Um, so that you know, one piece of the bamboo doesn't get you know, too burnt by the fire. And the way I do it is, um, is I just use like some struts here across like that so that I can um, uh, but, you know, support it uh, above the fire and it makes it very easy to turn it. So you'd, all you need to do is just cut a couple of strips of bamboo like this and then we're going to make uh, uh, two sets of notches um, you know, at the points of the compass so that we can just slot them in. So just let me do that and I'll show you. So once we've made our notches, and, and just be careful not to split it all the way down when you're doing this, we can just jam these, um, these sort of cross pieces in like this. And that way, um, you know, we can, we can put it over the fire and, it, and it's supported. And then if we want to, we can just uh, turn it like that. So we can just keep turning it, without burning ourselves and uh, you know, keep it above the fire as we want it. So we fill this up with water and uh, we boil some water. Okay, so our water's boiling away happily in there. And uh, just leave it to boil for about a minute and that'll pretty much kill everything. So easy to do, just find a piece of bamboo. So that's a sort of introduction to water in the jungle. Um, easy to find usually, uh, but you do need to filter it, you do need to uh, purify it. For me, if I'm on the move, I use chemical uh, purification just because it's more convenient and quicker. But if I set up camp, I like to boil it because then I don't have the taste to see. So um, we'll, we'll do a bit more about water in future videos, but until then, cheers.